Matthew Stanley. Matt. Key September 30, 1833 to May 28, 1904, was a Pennsylvania political boss once dubbed a kingmaker by President Benjamin Harrison. Key was born in Dillsburg, and graduated from the institution now known as Washington and Jefferson College. He studied law, was admitted to the bar, and began to practice in 1854. During the American Civil War, he served in the Union Army as a member of the 134th Pennsylvania Infantry Regiment, which he commanded as a colonel. He received the Medal of Honor for Heroism at the Battle of Fredericksburg. He later served as the Pennsylvania Militia's Assistant Commissary General, and as a personal assistant to Governor Andrew Curtin. Key's attention soon focused on politics, and he served in the Pennsylvania House of Representatives from 1865 to 1867. He later served as Secretary of the Commonwealth, Philadelphia County Recorder, and Pennsylvania Treasurer. Key served in the United States Senate twice, the first time from 1887 to 1899, and the second from 1901 until his death in 1904. From 1888 to 1891, Key was chairman of the Republican National Committee. As a party, boss, at the state and national levels, Key had the ability to influence the selection of Republican nominees and the general election support they received. He was largely credited with the leadership of Benjamin Harrison's successful campaign for president in 1888. Key died in Beaver in 1904, and was buried at Beaver Cemetery and Mausoleum in Beaver. The Matthew S. Key House in Beaver has been designated as a National Historic Landmark. In addition, another of his residences, the Roberts Key House in Philadelphia was added to the National Register of Historic Places in 1976. Biography <inaudible> 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 Key was born in Dillsburg, Pennsylvania. After attending Beaver and Indiana Academies, he graduated at Jefferson College now Washington and Jefferson College in 1850. Key was admitted to the bar in 1854. Prior to the start of the Civil War, Key won election to the Pennsylvania House of Representatives, representing Beaver County. At the start of the American Civil War, Key was a colonel with 134th Pennsylvania Volunteers. He served in various capacities in the Civil War, including as Assistant Commissary General of Pennsylvania. Congress awarded him the Medal of Honor for Gallantry at the Battle of Fredericksburg. Key's conduct during the war earned him the attention of Pennsylvania Governor Andrew Curtin, who made Key his personal aide tasked with answering the letters of soldiers. In 1864, Key was elected to the Pennsylvania Legislature, serving from 1865 to 1867. He was a companion of the Pennsylvania Commandary of the Military Order of the Loyal Legion of the United States. Topic: Politics. After the war, Key became an ally of party boss Simon Cameron, who founded a state machine that also included his son, future Senator Donald Cameron. Key became the editor of a newspaper called The Radical, where Key defended the spoils system and called for greater protection of African American civil rights in the South. He was appointed by the governor as Secretary of the Commonwealth from 1873 to 1878, and again from 1879 to 1882. He was appointed as the County Recorder of Philadelphia from 1878 to 1879, and State Treasurer from 1886 to 1887. He was elected by the legislature in 1887 to the United States Senate, serving from March 4, 1887 until March 3, 1899, with repeated re elections. Shortly after his election to the Senate, Key outmaneuvered fellow Senator Donald Cameron to become the boss of the state Republican Party. Key was elected as chairman of the Republican National Committee in 1888. Key served as Benjamin Harrison's campaign manager in the 1888 presidential election. Key's strategy focused on the state of New York, which had been the pivotal state in the previous election. Key objected to the voting process in New York City, which had been controlled by the Democratic Tammany Hall political machine. In order to ensure that voter fraud did not occur in New York City, Key discreetly compiled a city directory which would contain the names of all of the city's eligible voters. 
Although Cleveland got more votes in New York City, Harrison won New York and the presidency despite losing the national popular vote. Harrison credited Providence with his victory, a remark which prompted Key to state that Providence hadn't a damn thing to do with it. In the 1896 presidential election, Key finished third on the Republican National Convention's presidential ballot. Key aided New York Party boss Thomas C. Platt in making Theodore Roosevelt the party's vice presidential nominee in 1900. Key was perhaps the preeminent state party boss of the late 19th century, and other party bosses in states like New York and Illinois followed Key's example. With his control of state patronage, Key built an organization with a budget comparable to mid-sized railroads of the era. Key rarely spoke in public, but instead conducted most of his business in one-on-one -on -one meetings, locking down support before making a public move. He was meticulous in tracking the activities of individual legislators and kept track of favors granted to people and details of their lives in card files known as Key's Coffins. Despite his power, Key frequently clashed with reformers in Pennsylvania, particularly with Philadelphia's Committee of 100. Key was succeeded as party boss by fellow Senator Boyce Penrose. The fictional, Senator Mark Simpson, in Theodore Dracer's The Financier was based on Key. <laughs> <laughs> Senate seating controversy In 1898, Key was brought to trial on a charge of misappropriating state funds. Although he was acquitted the following year, the feeling among the reform element in his own party was so opposed to him that the legislature became deadlocked over filling the Senate vacancy. As the legislature was unable to build consensus for anyone to be elected to the seat, Governor William Stone appointed Key to fill the ensuing vacancy. Key presented his credentials to the Senate in December 1899, but the Senate refused to seat him, declaring that he was not entitled to the seat. Pennsylvania held a special election to fill the persistent vacancy, and Key was re-elected to the seat. Key would serve in the Senate until his death in 1904. <laughs> <laughs> Standard Oil One of the first politicians that Standard Oil bought was Matthew Key, at least on record. Key was given the code name, Black, according to a note that John D. Rockefeller's personal secretary sent to associate Henry M. Flagler. In early 1880, Key asked for a loan of $15,000, which Rockefeller thought was worth the price. Key continued to be in Standard Oil's pay until his death in 1904, when he was representing both the state of Pennsylvania and Standard Oil in the United States Senate. <laughs> <laughs> Family In 1855, Key married Agnes Barclay 1831 they were the parents of several children, of whom five lived to adulthood. Quay was interested in his family's history and genealogy. After discovering that two of his ancestors, John Key and John Key Jr., had married American Indians, Key took an interest in Native Americans in the United States, and worked on their behalf in the Senate. The Delawares recognized him as a member of their tribe, Key attended their annual summer convocations, and received several gifts and honors over the years, including election as a war chief in recognition of his military service and efforts on their behalf while serving as a member of the Senate's Indian Affairs Committee. In 1903 his daughter Miss Coral Key was the sponsor of the USS Pennsylvania ACR4 at the ship's launching on of August 1903. Topic. Timeline 1833, born Dillsburg, York County, Pennsylvania, EDUC. Beaver Academy 1850, he graduated at Jefferson College, then studied law under Judge Sterrett 1851-53, Mississippi 1854, admitted to Beaver County Bar 1855-56, Beaver County, Prothonotary, marries Agnes Barclay 1856, Beaver County, Prothonotary. 1861-10th Pennsylvania Reserves Lieutenant, Lieutenant Colonel 1862, Governor Andrew Curtin, Private Secretary 1862-134th Pennsylvania Volunteer Infantry Colonel August 
1862, leaves 134th Pennsylvania Regiment Volunteers, Health, the 7th of December. 1862, Battle of Mary's Heights, the 13th of December. 1864, elected to Pennsylvania State Legislature. 1865 to 1867, Pennsylvania State Legislature. 1869, founds Beaver Radical. 1873 to 78, Pennsylvania State Secretary. 1878 to 79, City of Philadelphia, Recorder, resigned. 1879 to 82, Pennsylvania State Secretary. Named January, resigned October. 1886 to 87, Pennsylvania State Treasurer. 1887, entered United States Senate. 1888, Republican National Committee, Chairman. 1892, re-elected, U.S. Senate 1898, not re-elected, term expires 1899. 1901, U.S. Senate 1904, death, buried in Beaver County, Pennsylvania. <laughs> Legacy Key County, New Mexico and the small community of Key, New Mexico and the community of Key, Oklahoma are all named in his honor. Matthew Key appears on a 45p 45 pence commemorative stamp from the Isle of Man Post Office, as part of a series honoring Manx Americans. In the 1890s in Pennsylvania there was an attempt to create a county from existing counties and name it after him. The county would have been created out of Schuylkill, Carbon and Luzerne counties. The bill passed the legislature but was vetoed by Governor Daniel Hastings. Governor Hastings was hanged in effigy on the streets of Hazelton, which would have been the seat of justice of the new county if Hastings had approved the bill. <laughs> Medal of Honor Citation Rank and Organization Colonel, 134th Pennsylvania Infantry Place and date, at Fredericksburg, VA, December 13, 1862. Entered service at, Beaver County, PA. Born, September 30, 1833 Dillsburg, PA. Date of issue, July 9, 1888, citation. Although out of service, he voluntarily resumed duty on the eve of battle and took a conspicuous part in the charge on the heights. See also. List of Medal of Honor recipients List of American Civil War Medal of Honor recipients, Q.S. Key, New Mexico List of United States Congress members who died in office 1900 Notes <laughs>